Labour is beginning to lose support over Sir Keir Starmer's Beergate scandal but Boris Johnson has failed to capitalise on the chaos surrounding his opponents, the latest Techni UK Express Tracker poll has revealed. According to the weekly Tracker poll Conservative support is stuck on 34% while Labour lost a point down 1 to 39%. Meanwhile, the Lib Dems, who made the most gains in last week's local elections, have gone up 1.11%. to It comes in a week where Sir Keir said he would resign as Labour leader if fined for breaking the rules at an event in Durham in April last year. But after a disappointing Queen's speech, Boris Johnson has been warned that he may only have until October to get a grip on his government. The results appear to reflect a growing sense that Sir Keir may not be the right person to lead Labour to an election victory. Especially with him still fighting allegations that he lied over the event in Durham on April 30 last year. At the event he was joined by his deputy Angela Rayner and activists to eat more than 200 pounds of curry washed down with beer. Labour at first denied Rayner was there and also claimed it was impromptu but a memo revealing it had been planned before. The revelations have led to claims Sir Keir lied and is a hypocrite for saying the Prime Minister should be removed for even being investigated by the police. Durham Police have now set up a major incident room to look at the accusations of Covid rule breaking against the Labour leader. Jeremy Corbyn ally Diane Abbott kicked off a bid by the hard left to have Starmer removed as leader following local election results which were mixed. Labour won iconic London councils off the Tories including Westminster, Wandsworth and Barnet, but lost Harrow to the Conservatives and made little impact in the Red Wall seats. Meanwhile, sources have told Express.co.uk that the Prime Minister is not out of the woods regarding party gate and his own position. The Conservatives lost less than the expected 550 seats in the local elections but there is growing anger over holes in his policy programme with little in the Queen's speech on the cost of living and no indication of early tax cuts.